the next guys uh, will basically do the capture on both the interfaces of f5 so we we will configure the capture on the like external ip and on the internal ip also and let's see how it when we will initiate the traffic from this client how we will see the tcp handshake how it happens between client and this f5 and then this f5 to the internal server so if i click on this f5 and if i say i want to capture first internal now it has started this capture on the internal interface now we will also start on the external one sorry we started earlier on internal this sorry external now we will do it on internal okay so this is uh, this client from where like we will try to access VIP so if you remember in the last class we also created a VIP right I'll show you so if I log in into the F5 device and if I go to this local traffic and if I go to this virtual server so this is the VIP virtual server that we created and it has IP this one 1.10 So this is uh, is listen on this IP 1.10 on port 80, and if I see like which pool I have associated with it, so we have this web service port 80, and if I have to see which, what pool it is and how many members are there, so this is your pool, right? Web service 80, and the pool member details are is this. So now from this testing machine so if we see it has IP like 1.50 right so if I go to the browser and if I I open incognito window and if I type in 72.16.1.10 so we see like this uh, your traffic has actually load balance to the fourth server the traffic would have gone from this client to this F5 and on this f5 as we have studied earlier so the tcp handshake would happen between this client and this f5 and the second step according to the load balancing mechanism this f5 decided that this traffic has to load balance to this fourth server and that was the reason uh, we saw there uh, this fourth server 4 now how i have set up these servers so on all of the uh, this four servers so i just have written a simple HTML, uh, html page so this server if the load balance will happen to this first server it will respond as server one this will respond as server two this three and four so that from this machine itself we will be able to identify that now this request has been load balanced to which server okay and if i go to these both the captures we'll stop them and if i see like one second so this is the this capture is from interface uh, one dot one okay this is from the external interface i'll show you like how i identified this now we can see if 
I filter this TCP stream now you can see the source we can see the source IP is this one 1 1.50 that we saw it belongs to our Linux client that machine from where we try to um, access the web IP right so it, it tried to go to this 1.10 and it tried to go to port 80 and this is your SYN packet and then this 1.10 itself which actually is the F5 device it responds back with the SYNAC and then it the your client responds with the ACK so we are seeing this TCP handshake here right now if I go to the other PCAP this one and if I do the uh, if I filter this stream now you can see the source IP as the original IP of the machine okay and the destination IP is is dot four okay which is what your this server has the server for and we can see the TC, TCP handshake happens between the uh, your F5 and the server as well so this SYN, SYNAC and ACK is but the TCP handshake happens between your F5 and the end server and if you notice here the source IP didn't change right but the destination IP it did change so we studied in the previous classes that this destination NAT, this F5, it does it automatically. We don't have to do any configuration for it. And this is the proof of it, right? So we try to connect on WIP IP and after the load balancing, it did the, uh, it, it like, it chose that this connection has to load balance to server four and that is why uh, it then sent that request to server code and did, it did this de uh, destination NAT automatically. If I talk about this source, so by default this does not change. Uh, the F5 does not do the source NAT. In case if we, there is an option to do it, like we, we can definitely do this on F5. Uh, we will later on see how we do it. But this, you might have heard this term in F5, we call this as SNAT in F5. The full form is, it actually stands for secure NAT. And for this secure NAT, you actually have to do manual configuration for it. So we, this is your like simple, we are using HTTP, it's clear text right so we can see from the Fireshark capture itself but this server is responding with server 4 right uh, that is the reason we use HTTPS okay, if I go to F5 okay this network map if, if you click on this network map which is inside your local traffic itself you will see the details of VIP uh, pool member, right? You can see every detail here. But later on, like we haven't configured any health monitor, we will discuss what it is. But it, you, if you have configured health monitors, you will see what is the status of uh, the the VIP IP. What is the status of of each pool member, right? But what is essential to check here is this is stats of the of the pool so if you have created like a pool and you want to see you have like chosen the like if uh, once again if i click on this pools if i like we have only this pool right this is the option where we change the load balancing mechanism this is by default that you are seeing round robin 
and we have tons of other load balancing mechanism also one is ratio based uh, this least connections will cover uh, uh, why we use others right so if i have created this new web we have associated the pool with this and i want to see how is f5 is actually doing the load balancing so i will first like reset the these counters so that from the beginning itself we'll see how it shows the uh, stats here so from this machine if i will do i'll send a couple of requests and we'll see how the load balancing is happening okay now if i try to refresh this page now we'll see the same server again because it's doing the caching and giving the same result to us to us now in order to see if our request is going to the new server every time right so we have to do the testing in in incognito window because incognito window doesn't use the caching so it again has chosen the same server if i do the okay now it is showing as server 2 but but i have seen i was doing the testing is if i open this curl Okay, so this curl command we actually use from the CLI. So this one second, we can use a specific. Uh, so instead of opening that in cognitive window, this is a simple way of doing testing, right? So what I've seen, the this F five is sending two requests to every end server. and after that it is changing load balancing to the other server so if if i again do the the hit it is going to server 4 next time it will go to other server now it is going to server 2 now it is going to server 1 now it will start going to server 3 and uh, again 4 so we can see it is doing the load balancing it is doing round robbing but it is sending two requests to every server and if i want to see the counters here i have to refresh this page and you can see how many connections actually went to these servers so this current shows you how many connections are currently active on the server so this actually shows you how many total connections has been to these servers So we see, we can see kind of equal distribution on all the servers as we are using the load balancing mechanism, round robin. Now, in case you uh, you are doing testing, the the you can see lots of counters, and you actually want to reset, you want to make them zero again, so that you can see fresh counters there. So you can just uh, select all, you can reset it. this way so this just does not impact anything uh it will just uh, uh like reset these counters and it will again start pop like uh populating here the values so this is very useful feature 
uh, checking stats of the pool so it shows you like that how many connections are going to each server 